Mr. Speaker, while the battle to retake Mosul from the Islamic State is underway, the Prime Minister isn't being transparent with Canadians about our role in these combat operations. He called it a training mission, but we've learned through social media that our troops are on the front lines and engaging the enemy. This is serious. Why is the Prime Minister withholding information about our true role in this conflict instead of being transparent and admitting our troops are engaged in combat? Canadians should learn about this on Twitter. The Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Canadian, all Canadians can be proud of the men and women of the Canadian Forces who continue to step up, put their lives on the line in places all around the world while they stand for our values. The fact is uh, we have sent them uh, on, a, on a mission uh, that is important in terms of supporting uh, and uh, assisting and training uh, the local uh, forces to take back uh, their towns, their communities. Uh, we are engaged as we predicted we would be engaged in a mission that is dangerous but very important. Uh, to make sure uh, that uh, Canada does its part in the fight against Daesh. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. We, we support our troops 100 per cent, but this is about transparency. It's been regular practice for the government to provide technical briefings to the media and to Canadians when our soldiers are deployed in battle. Top commanders were made available to explain the threat that our soldiers faced, but the Prime Minister has changed that policy. For political reasons, he promised to end a combat mission that he's actually expanding. Will the Prime Minister be transparent and resume these briefings so Canadians can know exactly what our men in uniform are facing? We have changed somewhat the approach that the previous government had. We will not put our men and women in the Canadian Forces in a harm's way uh, for communications purposes. We remain uh, uh, open and transparent about what these, uh, uh, this mission is and what the extraordinary work they are doing, but we will not compromise the safety uh, for a communications exercise here at home.